Neurofibromatosis Neurofibromatosis refers to a number of inherited conditions that are clinically and genetically distinct and carry a high risk of tumor formation, particularly in the brain. Neurofibromatosis is an autosomal dominant disorder, which means only one copy of the affected gene is needed for the disorder to develop. Therefore, if only one parent has neurofibromatosis, his or her children have a 50% chance of developing the condition as well. The severity in affected individuals can vary. This may be due to a variable expressivity. Approximately half of cases are due to de novo mutations and no other affected family members are seen. It affects males and females equally. In addition, some individuals may have mosaic NF, in which some but not all cells of their body carry the mutation. The neurofibromatoses are as follows. Neurofibromatosis type I, in which the nerve tissue grows tumors, neurofibromas, that may be benign and may cause serious damage by compressing nerves and other tissues, neurofibromatosis type II, in which bilateral acoustic neuromas, tumors of the vestibulocochlear nerve or cranial nerve 8, CN8, also known as schwannoma, develop, often leading to hearing loss, schwannomatosis, in which painful schwannomas develop on cranial, spinal and peripheral nerves. Conditions which may be confused with NF1 but which are not considered NF include Leopard syndrome, Legia syndrome, Proteus syndrome. The neurofibromatoses are considered as vasopathies and as members of the neurocutaneous syndromes, phacomatoses. In addition to the types of neurofibromatosis, the phacomatoses also include tuberous sclerosis, Sturge Weber syndrome, and von Hippel Lindor disease. This grouping is an artifact of an earlier time in medicine, before the distinct genetic basis of each of these diseases was understood. Education Recently, non-profit and charitable organizations have started to bring awareness and education about neurofibromatoses to mainstream media in order to better connect those afflicted with helpful resources to lead more productive and satisfying lives. Personalities with the condition, such as Reggie Bibbs, are becoming public figures around which others can rally to gain motivation and support. 